Good evening and welcome back to Kenzie's Fun Channel. Today we're going to be making Halloween treats, foods, and a special drink. And subscribe, hit that big thumbs up button, big thumbs up. Now let's get straight into the video. First, make sure your hands are clean. Now we're going to be making Butterfinger heads of Frankenstein. And so, what what you need is a plate and some parchment paper. Put the parchment paper on the plate. Now these are the ingredients. Some Butterfingers, some black icing. We need some green candy milk. We're going to need some edible eyeballs and get parents help. Like your mom, friend, like your parents' friend, your mom, dad, uncle, aunt, grandma, grandpa. So, so let's just get straight into it. First, melt the candy melt 30 seconds at a time until it's melted, not burnt, in the microwave. I'm opening up my butterfinger, so let's see here. Now we're going to do it in the microwave. Okay, now that it's melted, put it on the plate, dump it in before you put it on the plate. And put them on. Now there we go. So you have to your your hands will get messy when you do all of these things. But it's so much fun. Um, I think they are gonna be really yummy. They look yummy. Ooh, I wish I could eat one right now. <laughs> Frankenstein, da da da. <laughs> Here's a melting in my hand. My favorite Halloween monster really has to be a witch. What's your guys's? Oh, that's really cool. Halloween is coming up soon, and. I already know what I'm going to be. You guys are going to have to watch my other video so you can see what I'm going to be. Because that is what I'm going to be following. It's a video that I posted right before this one. So you guys should probably go check it out. We're going to get the black icing and make a mouth. If it even comes out. There we go. Now that the scar is put on, we're going to twist it close. Now it's all done. Cash tasting. Mmm! Mmm! <laughs> Next up, we are making jack o' lantern quesadillas. So you need one whole tortilla and then we'll need a grown-up's help to cut out a face on the other tortilla. And we need some taco, taco meat and some cheese. You can help your parents make the taco meat. First to take off the face, you're going to sprinkle some cheese. There you go. Spread it around. Then you're going to add some taco meat on top. Oops. There you go. We're going to sprinkle a little more cheese on top. There we go. Now uh, we put 
The third one, if it doesn't rip, there you have it. So now we're going to put it in the oven at 350 degrees for a couple of minutes. Keep an eye on it so it doesn't burn. It's all done cooking, so let's dig in. I didn't expect it to be this good. Yeah, it's delicious. Bon appetit, you get it, bone? Halloween time? <laughs> bone. Funny, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am programming you to try this. I'm grabbing you guys so you guys can try it. I'm full now. But if you don't if, if you don't want it to have it so big, cut it up in smaller pieces. I think it's better than Taco Bell. And it's homemade. Now we're gonna move on to the next treat. So next up we are making jalapeno puppies, which is not regular jalapeno puppet we're making money ones what you need for this recipe you're gonna need some cheese chopped up bacon crust and roast strips some jalapeno jalapeno sliced and then we need some candy eyeballs we need some cream cheese a spoon and some gloves you need the gloves so you don't touch the jalapenos without with your hands. Oh, and we need a tray with foil. First, we're gonna put a little bit of cheese into the cream cheese. Next, we're gonna add the bacon. We're gonna add a little more cheese. Now we're gonna mix. I love wearing gloves because it makes me feel like I'm a doctor. Once it's all mixed, you're gonna get your jalapeno. So we're gonna need this jalapeno gonna get the spoon, this little one, and we're gonna stuff it with the stuff. With the stuff in the stuff. Once you're all done with stuffing it like this one, we're gonna put the crescent strips on top like that. You wanna leave some space for the eyes so you can put the eyes for the mummies, because mummies have eyes, right? So, what are you planning to do for Halloween? Oh, whoa, those are some pretty good ideas. What I'm planning to do is, well, have a Halloween party, but just me and my family. We're going to watch movies, Halloween movies, we're gonna have candy popcorn and you can't forget that da, 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 dance party to Halloween songs. Mm, especially the Monster Mash, that's my favorite Halloween song. Once you are done, then you're gonna put it on your tray. Don't forget to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. 
So they're all done. So they're ready to go in the oven at 400 degrees for 10 minutes. So let's put them in. So first off the oven, as you can see, they look so good. But gotta add the eyeballs to finish the mummy. Look! God, I'm oblivious. <laughs> if, you, if you know that spot, then you should say, and the wand. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. They're all done! There's another success. Now let's move on to the other treats. Next. We, we are going to be making graveyard brownies. <laughs> so what you need to make it, you're going to need gummy worms, some candy pumpkins, some, some um, candy decorations. You're going to need a spoon and a spatula. You're going to need some Oreos in a cup or something you can put them in. You're going to need some brownie mix. You need some Milano, Milano cookies. Some black icing. And cream cheese frosting. So now let's make the brownies. What we're going to need to make the brownies is we're going to need a mixing bowl and a mixing spoon. And then the brownie mix. First, we're gonna add the oil, the water. Now you're gonna need the oil. Now you're gonna add an egg. Mm. Ah. Now it's time to pour. Ah. Okay. My mom is going to help me pour it into the pan. You're going to give it a nice little stick. Now get it to go in the oven. Woo! Follow your brownie directions for cook time. While the brownies are baking, we're going to smash the Oreos in a blender. It's all done, and you want it to look like a dirt. When the runnies are done, you're going to let them cool, and then you're going to put the frosting on. We're putting the, the frosting on so the dirt can stick on. We're going to get the spatula and get it. And put it on. Now we're gonna um put some dirt on here. Ah! Okay. No. Good helmet. Now we're gonna open the Milano cookies. We're gonna do the same thing what we do with the Frankensteins. Cut this, put them on here. Now, let's put our IP. These are gonna be the gravestones. Stay. Be the glue to put the candy on. We're going to do all the graveyards and then we're going to show you how we do the decorations. The graveyard is done with the graves. 
My mom ended up using the icing tube to white our IP. So now let's use the green to glue some decorations. There we go, the pumpkins are done. A graveyard brownie cake is done. The best part, taste test time. <laughs> mm. I have got a bigger napkin. <laughs> this is good, but let's move on to the last treat. Last, we have a spectacular drink. But you need to make it is some ice cream. An ice cream scooper, sprinkles, a cup, orange soda, and whipped cream. So, First, we're going to put a couple of scoops of ice cream. <laughs> now, we're going to add the orange soda. Now, we're going to put the whipped cream. Now that that's done, I'm going to use some sprinkles. I'm going to do two colors. I'm going to do black and purple. Now it's purple. The final time. Ooh. It's all done to taste. Those are all the Halloween treats I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope you try making some of them for Halloween. If you make one of the sweet ones and eat it, make sure to brush your teeth and eat your veggies. Subscribe, hit the big thumbs up button, big thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. I'm going to go brush my teeth.